Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of multiplying fractions. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, or just learned this recently. Really, no matter where you're at, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Let's jump into number one, where we have three-eighths times two-fifths. Now, when we multiply fractions, all we need to do is multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator, the top numbers, and then denominator times denominator, the bottom numbers. Once we do that, we can look to simplify if need be. So let's multiply our numerators first. So three times two, that gives us six. And then eight times five, that gives us 40. So we get six fortieths. Now six fortieths is our answer, but we can simplify here. Six and 40 have a common factor other than one that we can divide both our numerator and denominator by. We can divide both of these by two. Two is our greatest common factor. So let's divide both of these by two. And we get six divided by two is three. 40 divided by two is 20. So our final simplified answer is 3 twentieths. Let's move on to number two, where we have four times four ninths. So we have a whole number times a fraction. Now we need to rewrite that whole number as a fraction before we start. Now in order to put a whole number in fractional form, all we need to do is put it over one. So let's rewrite this problem. Four over one is four, it has a value of four. Again, it's just in fractional form. And we want to do that, that way we have a numerator and a denominator, and we can multiply straight across. Let's bring down our multiplication sign and the four ninths. Now we can multiply straight across. Four times four is 16. One times nine is nine. So we get 16 ninths, and that's our answer, but it's in the form of an improper fraction. So we want to convert this to a mixed number, and we do that by dividing our numerator, the top number, by the denominator, the bottom number, so 16 divided by nine. So we need to think, how many whole groups of nine are in 16? Well, one, that gets us to nine, and we have a remainder of seven, so that's our numerator of the fractional part, and then we keep our denominator of nine the same. So one and seven ninths is our final answer. We can always look to see if we can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Seven ninths is in simplest form, so we are done. Now I do wanna do a quick recap of how I converted from that improper fraction to the mixed number, and I'm going to write everything out. So let's come below here. I did our numerator, 16, divided by nine. So how many whole groups of nine in 16? Well, one, that's our whole number right here. One times nine is nine. We do not hit 16 exactly, we have a remainder of seven. So remainder seven, that remainder goes right here. It's the numerator part of our fraction. And then we keep our denominator of nine the same. This nine right here, we keep it the same. So one and seven ninths as our final answer. So there you have it. There's a quick review of multiplying fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Peace.